Hello friends, this is Creative Engineers back again with a video tutorial on how to control RGB LED with RF module. Here, we will control the LED via wireless communication using RF module. But before learning that, let's us have a look at its working. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to control RGB LED with Arduino alone, then do have a look at it, the link of which is given in the description. If you like this project, then do subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Now, let's have a look at the components that we require for making the project. These include Arduino Mega USB cable Receiver circuit Transmitter circuit RGB LED Now for the connection of the project, you need a RF receiver transmitter circuit. This circuit is then connected to the Arduino's pins to read the input of the receiver and sent by the receiver. After the receiver and transmitter circuit are attached with the Arduino, you need an RGB LED to be connected with it. The connection of the RGB LED can be learned from my previous video, whose link is in the description. Once all the connections are made, then we need to code the Arduino for proper working of the project. The code required the RGB content of different colors, which can be easily found from the Internet. Now, let's have a look at the code and analyze it. Here, we defined three character arrays to store the red, green and blue content of 25 different colors. These values are fed to the LED at the same instant, which will be shown later on. Then comes the setup code which is executed only once. Then we defined the nature of the pins for connecting with the RGB LED. These are defined as output pins, as we need to write the values on these pins to display different colors. Then we defined the pins for connecting the RF module with Arduino, and declared them as input pins to read the status of these pins. There we provided internal pull-ups by writing high value to it. This is required as the LED used is common positive LED. Thus, we need to write high on all pins to keep it off. Now, we declared a variable i, which will be used to feed values to the pins. Then is the turn of the loop function, which is executed infinite times. Here we will write the code to execute it continuously.
In the for loop, the digital read function reads the status of the pins as high or low, and compares accordingly and takes the decisions as required. These for loops perform five different functions as per the command sent by the transmitter. The three buttons cause the LED to display the red, green and blue colors respectively, while the fourth button displays 25 different colors with half second interval between them. Once the 25 colors are displayed, the value of variable I is changed to zero and colors are displayed from starting. If the switch is released in between and again pressed, it will continue from the last displayed color. By default, if no input is received, the LED will show yellow color continuously, as long as the input is not received. Now, let's look at the completed project video and enjoy. If you find my videos helpful, kindly subscribe my channel and continue learning new things. If you like this project, then do subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.